So this is one that I actually got on a foraging trip a while ago uh, with Steve Brill, and this is one that even like when like nothing's growing, you can like go to Central Park like in the winter time, and you'll still find these things. The tree itself loses its leaves fairly early on in the fall, so when you still a lot of things have like beautiful you know autumn leaves, this thing looks like it's dead. So like in France and Canada it's known as the dead tree. Now if you crack this open you see there's some gunk in there. And when you, this comes fresh off the tree it's like greenish looking. And that gunk, uh, you don't want to eat that gunk. And the beans themselves, they look like little uh, little chocolate candies but these are not chocolate candies. In fact, if you were to eat these as they are, it would probably make you very, very sick. It's got a neurotoxin in it known as uh, cytosine. I think that's how you say it. And cytosine is, um, well, it's interesting because it actually has a similar um, chemical makeup as nicotine. So in some countries, people actually take cytosine and they'll use it as like a nicotine patch sort of thing. It's supposed to be safer than nicotine. But uh, at the same time, it's poisonous. So if you take too much of it, it can kill you. If you take these and you roast them, it will actually uh, kill off that toxin. It neutralizes it, so then you can eat these things. Um, and they're supposed to taste just like coffee beans. These are Kentucky coffee pods that I have collected over the course of going on many, many foraging trips in Central Park. And the thing with these is that you can, uh, you can basically hold on to these for a very long time, because like the bean that you want on the inside, they dry out and that's fine. So um, these don't really go bad, I mean, or if they do, it takes a long time for them to. So I've just been kind of like accumulating these. Every time I go to Central Park and I see one of these pods, you know, I just like pick it up and put it in my bag. So. I've been collecting these for like months and months and um, you know supposedly they're still good so I'm gonna go and pick through all of these and sort out all of these from them and here's what we're left with not a whole lot uh, these are some pretty big pods and they don't have too much on the inside but still once you grind all this up I think I don't know probably have like a good cup maybe of uh, coffee grounds so yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and just like pick off like all this crap that's on here this is what happens when you add uh, water to these <laughs> when they're so dirty uh, yes yeah, so I gotta I gotta rinse the hell out of these things I'm just gonna go through and just kind of like agitate them a little bit and get all this gunk off and see that the sticky stuff like is coming off now I have cleaned them and place them into a metal pot and uh, I'm gonna give this a cover. Now I'm using a glass lid because this is all I have. Hopefully it won't crack but this isn't a pot I really care that much about so if it does, it does, whatever. But this goes into an oven that has been preheated for 300 degrees. Just throw this guy in. And uh, I'm going to keep this in here for three hours. Yeah, long time. It's been about an hour, and these are exploding, apparently. Um, my cat has been, like, fixated on the oven. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Hopefully that's not uh, a bad thing. Maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. But, yeah, they're definitely blowing up. All right, three hours later, let's see what we got. Uh, well, they, yeah, they exploded for sure. Very warm, but there's the, the outside shell. 
And the inside just appears to be, what is that, it's kind of like dust. Yeah, inside the seeds is just kind of this uh, powdery material here. Um, I was told this is supposed to smell like coffee. Even while you're baking it, it's supposed to make your whole room smell like coffee. It doesn't. Um, it smells like something is kind of like cooking slash burning, but not um, not coffee beans. No, not not whatsoever. Let me give it a whiff. Hmm. It smells kind of like burnt toast. It's a very fine powder in there. The, uh, the inside is very like dry as it is, so it just kind of like turned into dust. Hey guys! So I have something very, very special. I got it in Central Park, and I cooked it in my oven, and I ground it up. You want to try it? Every day. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I'll give this one a whiff. This is called Kentucky Coffee. But it's from New York. Shh. It smells like cocoa powder and dirt. There's like a smell I can't identify. It's weird, right? Oh, that's something. Something good. Got my happen. eyes. <laughs> Stu is already blinded. He's by got the Kentucky coffee. eye. Wait, wait, wait. I'm smelling this. It smells good. But it just it blew up into my eyes. He's got Kentucky eyes now. That smells good, actually. Yeah? I'm, yeah, it does smell good. I it smells like smell coconut. It. it smells like a coconut chocolate. Oh, like an old coconut filled chocolate. <laughs> yeah! It actually does smell pretty good. Yeah, a little bit like chocolate, <laughs> like dried fruit. Yeah, mm, this and is like, definitely like grandma candy that's like been around for a question a lot of time. Yeah, like, but... It's still sealed, but like, how long? Like 30, 40 years? It's been around. But it also has a delightful little scent of dirt. Yeah, it's definitely it's dirt. dirt. Yeah, dried fruit, grandma candy, cocoa powder, it's coconut, chocolatey. dirt. It's, chocolatey. Can't it's the it best smelling one so far. Uh, one concerning thing with this is that it looks kind of like a very dark tea. It's like a little, I don't know if you can see, but it's like, like a little see-through. Not quite as dark as coffee should be. It tastes like tea. It does taste like tea. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it tastes like an herbal tea. Wow, Dude, wow, I've been drinking wow. so much tea since I stopped drinking coffee, this is not like tea. But it tastes like an herbal tea. Like, it yeah, tastes like, like if you made, like, it tastes like the way that nettles taste in, like, dandelion root. Like, yeah, no, 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 it doesn't. It's not black tea. Yes, it does. It's got, like, a molasses kind of flavor. Yeah, it's got sweet. It's definitely sweet. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish I was tasting what you guys are tasting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it tastes like coffee. No. no. Like at all. It tastes like a, an herbal tea, like a, maybe like a little bit more like roasty, earthy herbal tea. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it could satisfy your need for coffee, but it does not taste like coffee. No. Uh, let's add some milk and sugar to it, see if that helps oh. create an oh, illusion God. of sorts. Yeah, that doesn't sound like it's going to be appetizing. Let's try it. Let's do it anyway. Let's jump right in. Cheers Good friends. Everyone. Oh, that's a lot better. Wow, that is better. Holy cow. I didn't think it was going to be that different. It still tastes like tea. Still does taste like tea. Tastes like tea with milk and sugar in it. <laughs> Let's <laughs> fix the dirty tea water it took me six hours to make. <laughs> this took a really long time to make. Yeah. This uh, is I wouldn't do this again just for how time consuming it is, but it's not that bad. It tastes okay. It's not coffee. That's not coffee. Thank you, Albo. <laughs> but it, yeah, it is something that is pleasant to drink. Not worth the trouble to do it again, but I will finish what I made. Uh, but let's give it a rating. Out of how many coffee beans, one to five, how much like coffee is this? One. Not like coffee at all. 
Really? It's very close to T. I'll give it a one and a half. Because I think it's like tea, but with like a little roastiness that coffee would have. Lex? It's like a one. I don't know. I mean, it's not bad with the stuff in it, but it's not... Yeah. If you're like, this is coffee, winking at me, I'd be like, I don't think so. Not on your life, buster. <laughs> I don't know. One and a half. One and a half. Yeah, Boo. so... <laughs> I think this gets a one. I mean, it's not a bad drink, but it... Certainly is not coffee. That's not coffee. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Hey guys, before you click out, I just want to talk to you for one second. I want to tell you about my Patreon page that I started, okay? Patreon is a way of viewers of my series to contribute and help make my series even greater. So go and check it out. Just click on this screen. Actually, click on these bunnies here to be brought to... Hi! I know! Click on these bunnies here to go to my Patreon page where you can learn more about how to make my series even greater. Come on. They're adorable. Don't you want to click on them? Yes. Don't bite me. <laughs>